For enthusiasts familiar with the Matrix's Zoom line of keyboards, the Zoom 98 will undoubtedly resonate with the sense of deja vu. It's a successor to the beloved Zoom 75, but this iteration offers more than just a larger size. It promises both aesthetic and functional enhancements, making it a compelling choice for mechanical keyboard aficionados. The Zoom 98 retains the design DNA of its predecessors, but adds significant touches that sets it apart. The top case now flaunts a telescope with an LED diffuser, which should provide an enchanting glow when lit. In contrast, the bottom case surprises with ambient lights incorporated into the new side profile design. This change not only adds to the visual appeal, but also practicality, as this side design renders the keyboard easier to lift and move. And you'll need that because this keyboard is hella heavy. Coming in at a whopping eight pounds or 3.7 kilograms with the included internal stainless steel weight add-on, this thing is a chonker. The Zoom 98 also keeps the modular space on the top right, a hallmark of the Zoom 75, but this time it's more versatile than ever. With options to switch between color LCD, knobs, two keys, and badges, the personalization level is sky high. Whether you want to display time, control your music, or just add a flair to your setup, the Zoom 98 promises adaptability, that's hard to match. The PCB is 1.2 millimeters thick and will have options for flex and non-flex cut PCBs. I received the flex cut version, which is not bad if using long pole switches, but if you plan to not use long pole switches or any of the included foam, I would opt for the non-flex cut PCB. For those of you that don't know the difference, the flex cut PCB has flex cuts in it, making it a softer typing experience, but can sound thinner because sound leaks between the flex cuts. The PCB also supports tri-mode, meaning that it can be wired, Bluetooth, or used with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle and integrates via support. The wired variant also plays nice with QMK and VIA. And yes, the board is versatile in its layout support, including split space bars, backspace, and even ISO and ANSI enters. So that's just a quick rundown of the specs. Now let's get into the sound test. I will go over feel of this keyboard and what it sounds like with the different foam configurations. If you have the flex cut version, no foam is a no go, just because the alphas sound a bit too thin for me. Spacebar and numpad are okay, but the mods are a bit hollow. If you're going no foam, then the non flex cut PCB is the way to go. Adding in the case foam corrects the hollowness and thinness of the no foam configuration and sounds the least foamy, very neutral sound, and probably what I would go with if I'm using any part of the foam kit. The plate foam is more or less like the case foam, but a little more lively. Kind of adds a pop to your switches and sounds pretty solid. Uh, I think I've changed my mind. This would be the configuration I go with. Melatrix's Switch Foam is a more subdued version of other brands' PE Foam, which is nice. It adds a tiny bit of that marble you get from PE Foam, but doesn't really overdo it. I think their version of PE Foam is the direction other brands should go in, as it doesn't make everything sound the same. And then there's all foam. Not much to say here, but uh, it's deep and creamy and has a lot of pop. 
To the first time user, which this board is catered to, this will probably be the most sought after configuration. And as you can tell, it does it well. Now you guys are probably going to ask how it compares to the QK100. Aesthetically, I think the QK is better, but that's because I like thinner designs. But if you like chonky keyboards, I would imagine your preference would be leaning towards the Zoom 98. Sound wise, I can't really compare fairly because I didn't get the non-flex cut version of the Zoom. But the Zoom is catered to the foam lover and this hasn't changed. If you like creamy, deep thock, the Zoom 98 doesn't disappoint. Um, I honestly don't think the non-flex cut version is a good board if you're not using any of the foam. If you're looking for your first custom keyboard and don't wanna give up your numpad and missed out on the QK100, I'd say this is the board you want. The link is in the description below, and as always, like and subscribe. Enough.